Oops. So, okay, we are coming online. Let me just from to it's doing all the things everywhere, setting up the th stream. Okay, and there we are. Welcome, uh, hello, and welcome everyone to another episode of My Colonies Let's Play with the Developers. I'm Raycoms. I'm currently at alone here, but I believe that some add-ons is going to join me relatively soon. In the last episode, I'm not sure if you can maybe show it from up the mountain here. Um, let's reload the chunks. You can see here a little bit in the distance the a small bridge coming here. We finished in the last episode. That's going to protect our colony from there from raiders. But we did notice that we had some problems with the raiders coming from this direction though here. So the first thing I'm going to do so that Gia doesn't complain about it again is to make sure that we got no our um, rallying banner ready again <laughs> and hi Mizen how are you doing? you wake up so again we will need bows um, I think four um, and we're going to need, oh, they're all at the crafter, and we're going to need yellow wool, also six. Um, hi Margo, how are you being? How's the Tyler? I'm fine, and you? How are you? What are you up to? And hi Mizan as well, again. Yes, we finally last episode we um finally did it and we are now twitch affiliates we're not yet partner but we made like twitch affiliates in the minimum time which was seven consecutive streams at least of eight hours and at least 50 followers now being getting partner is going to be much harder because we need at least on average 75 people in the stream so we're a little bit far from that yet but hopefully we'll get there <laughs> because that would be great for our project um, and would help us to increase and get mine colonies further and hi andros i'm glad that you were able to make it here today and hi sat horizon as well how are you Okay, I got the yellow wool and I'm starting to get some of the other things. Okay, so we are making the the banner. What is um, rel... I forgot the name of it again. What is the name of this in my colonies? Is Gia around to tell me? Hi, Captain Salt. How are you? Here it should be. Somewhere. That's a farm, no. I'm I'm confused. Don't I have the right version? I should have. 
Okay. Um, I know that it has guard towers in the recipe. Okay, I think I might not have the right version because the recipe is missing. So that is a fail of me, definitely. I'm going to put that here back in. And in the next video I'm going to have to update again and see why the recipe for the item is, is missing. That's probably why it got missing in my inventory as well. I'm doing fine. I was fighting all day again with C++, having lots and lots of fun. <laughs> Not at all, but so. This one here was finished in the last episode. And that looks... I'm pretty happy about how that turned out. I'm calling it a day I think now. I'm even going to remove a little bit of this wall here. Because we can oh, actually use one. this space here for useful things. Especially, I think, around this area here. If we remove the wall, that will allow us to place some useful stuff. So let's dismount, dismantle a little bit of this wall here. C++ is a total pain. Total, total. So basically the problem oh. I came up, I got, it's like, it's like, I always have like this special talent. I don't know if you ever heard it, but I got this, this talent that when I program in a new language, all possible errors you could get because of random stuff, I'm going to get those. Guaranteed. So I, I coded a multi-threaded application in C++. And what happened is that my multi-threaded application got only assigned to one of my CPU cores. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but that it is highly annoying, that I know. So I'm basically setting my stuff up to be able to the... Yeah, I'm the incarnation of Murphy's Law in terms of in computer science terms. That is definitely the case. There's this Murphy Law... Um, what is the name? Um, cartoon about this boy. I I'm like this, but in the digital world. I think that is <laughs> that is definitely a fitting description of me. Things that can break will break. Oh wow, Mizen, that is very nice of you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So. Okay. Get the stuff back. Remove this. And maybe a few of those. And get. Do we have sand? Yes. We're Twitch affiliate now, not partner yet. Because for partner you need 75 viewers on average and we got like 16, 17 viewers on average per video. Which is already pretty great already too. And yes, I, I'm pretty glad that we we made it. Also, thanks to all you guys that are always watching our videos and helping me out here when I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> that definitely helps a lot. So, I need to find my other shulker box. I think I left it at the other tower behind there. So, um, but yes, we finally made it affiliates. Really glad about that. Um, yesterday after was basically the last video. So after the um, stream was done. I spent another two hours or so um, setting up all the things that are required for the affiliate setup, like filling in all those annoying tax forms, etc. Okay. Let's see, we got some things to give here. To, and then we got a bunch of things to dump in the warehouse, definitely. Um, okay, 
Hej Sam Adams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys make definitely sure that I never get bored. I do work around 12, 14 hours a day, so I'm definitely do not have time to get bored. <laughs> Uh, the perks of being a PhD student. Even my hobbies are work. Okay. And... Savannah, I can't hear you, to be honest. Are you saying something? Can you hear me now? Yes, now I can hear you. Um, I noticed that it seems we do not have the version with the rallying banner on here. Which is weird because I built it from the right branch, so I'm a bit confused. Um, but yeah, we do not have the right version. That's why we don't have... That's why I lost the rallying banner in my inventory as well. <laughs> Sounds good, Mizen. Hopefully no exciting barbarian raid is going to come up. Um, and I really hope that. <laughs> so, I see someone here is needing something. So, Whoa, what do you need? Oak bookshelf. Do we have oak things? Yes. Uh, how many? I'm going Ten. To do my best work uh, we you. don't have enough oak for that. So let me just dump that stuff in the warehouse and then we get some oak. Um, we can already request like 32 oak locks here quickly. So meanwhile I can dump the things I don't need here in the chest. Um, I think I... let me place... now that one's fine. Um, I can dump those here. Place those two down. And I'll just get the things in here that I do not need at the moment. Here we go. That salmon someone threw at me yesterday very impolitely. Um, the fence. The, the sphere. The rest here looks, looks fine. The last. Uh, yes, those two things. Oh yay, our miner died. <laughs> totally unexpected that the next worker who was going to die is the miner. Um, here we got oak logs. And then we go there quickly and give the bookshelves. Uh -huh. Here, Jenny. Ten, you need... Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Wait. I think he can't hear me. Hello. Just let me... No one here. Can you hear me? Oh, I think... Can you hear me now? I can hear you. I don't think you can hear me. I can hear you. I can hear you. So... Ah, good. <laughs> um, do we have 10 bookshelves? Weekends again. Oh. Yes, weekends. Um, hospital 3. Now the rest we should have in the warehouse. But I'm unsure about all the red sandstone stairs. I've got some on me. Are you... we're getting some more sandstone? No, I was uh, making the stairs. And we got a bunch of red sand in the warehouse at least. We have fought, uh, 48 red sandstone stairs. Ah, okay, only. that's enough, that's enough. Okay. Uh, missing 14 now. Oh, hi, John. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, it's th the chat paused and I didn't see all the other chat messages you sent. What? Ignoring chat again? <laughs> yeah, ignoring chat totally. Ah, you weren't able. Yeah, um, the stream is the only time of the day. I get some time to play as well. That's basically the only time I'm I have time to play anything at all. 
um, if you do not count running after bugs and complaining about C++ is playing. Thanks a lot, Sean. Sean. Yeah, we finally made it. And actually in really like the minimum possible time because you have to stream at least seven days. I was so motivated yesterday to even then get all the paperwork done so that we can stream as affiliates today already. I was really motivated. So I was really tired wanting to go to bed. <laughs> so, okay. Hi, Carl. Ah, talking about Carl. Carl sent me, I forgot it again, <laughs> a resource pack, actually. A resource pack. The Mine Colony's um, medieval resource pack that is supposed to change the citizen textures to a more medieval texture. Um, let's let this texture pack load here quickly. And that actually allows us to um, see the citizens all a little bit different. Oh, I actually wanted to install this pack before the stream, but I totally forgot about it again. It does sound nice. <laughs> Um, we currently, I have, I asked someone to set up some emotes for us to, to have them as sub emotes here, but it, like I said, I don't have a lot of time and I have actually absolutely zero talent in terms of arts. Like I may make pretty neat stickman figures, but that's the only thing I can do basically. So I've asked someone to make us some um, mine colonies and stream specific emotes. We can then add in the future. Uh, yeah, the yeah you can see here. For example, the guard has now this texture here. Now let's see if the delivery man looks different as well. Yeah, the delivery man looks has very worn down shoes and a different style. So all the workers, let's check in on a few. A builder, basically all the workers, like a builder you can see here, have now different outfits based on the resource pack I installed. Um, the general idea of the resource pack is actually to then integrate it into mine colonies. Like you can see here the fisherman as well with a whole new style to actually integrate this into mine colonies so that when you build a colony with a medieval style you will get the medieval um, resource pack that was maybe I could even make it um, chomp based so if there's a building style and a worker works at the medieval building they are going to get the medieval style um, I can check out Chenny she's the medieval uh, female medieval builder. Let's check out how she is doing. Careful with the ravine. There's definitely going to be an emoji with a ravine though. That is guaranteed. So what is she working on? The hospital. There she is. This is our female medieval builder. Yes, I don't have a problem. We can make... Um, back related chokes as well definitely <laughs> so yes they do look pretty neat we can see here the female f farmer here as well um at the moment you can't get it anywhere unless you ask Carl Cerner really nicely to send you the zip file of the resource pack I'm unsure if he uploaded it anywhere already, but like I said, one of the as soon as that is completely finished, one of the next thing I'm going to do is going to implement some little things into mine colonies to allow adding that. So, 
Let's see how our other. It's because uh, you can upload it actually as a texture pack to Curse already. But like I said, it's it would then overload all of them. And at least on the weekend, I'm going to implement it as soon as the final model is finished. So that shouldn't be so long. That's the delivery man, isn't he? What is it? It's we Wyatt. Ah, it's our cowboy. Nice. But yes, um, at least on the weekend, if he sends me the pack, I'm going to install it. That is a promise, because that should not be a lot of work either. Um, the Vikings are a little bit stuck at the moment, because I'm waiting for my <gasps> artists to finish the Viking models, because there were some small bugs in them, so I have to wait for the artist to fix the model. I'm not a, a great modeler. Or artist to be able to finish those. Um, see another archer here on the floor doing nothing. Do you think that's nice? Okay. So that is. What is your if profession? You say so. This is our teacher. Nice. That looks pretty neat though. So let me get some sleep too. Mm -hmm. Hi Martin, Mar, Marchin. Hi there. <laughs> yeah, we do need a Barnaby emote. Barnaby is the best builder. Jenny is a great builder, but Barnaby is a, the best builder. Besides Alexandra, because Alexandra was the absolute best builder we ever had, we will ever have. It's just such a pity and all our citizens, they're mourning for the miner, but secretly they're mourning for Alexandra. We, we know it. Secretly we're mourning for Alexandra altogether. Yes, Mine Colony is, is a mod for the Minecraft Java edition that adds a bunch of different citizens or AIs to the Minecraft world and allows you to construct a pretty immersive and pretty big colony. Like if you can see our colony goes behind there. You can see it here in the minimap. Like our colony is pretty big. It stretches here until the wall and goes then here to the other one on the other side. So that is a pretty big colony and we we're not finished yet. So that colony is probably going to grow a little bit yet. So. Um, I think I'm going to f remove this owl part of the wall as well. We definitely need an ouch emoji as well. As many times I have fall down somewhere. So. There we go. I do have to remove was here first though. Else they're going to get the northwest corner. Ah, this here, yeah, that one here is pretty poor in protection. Similar to this little part here that is also a bit poor in protection. But that is a bit better protected than here actually. But yes, we said that we do the typical, like, we want this to be realistic, it's a realistic economy simulator, so we are going to do only re reactionary politics. So we're going to wait until things go really wrong with those places and then we're going to react and fix it. Like we waited to build this wall here, we just waited for enough parrots to pass in the bay so that we actually had to build it. I mean, one of the things we uh, we value a lot in mine colonies is realism. So we have those things like illnesses citizens can get. Um, they have hunger. They don't work for free. We have the future going to add things like salaries and maybe one day even going to refine the illness system. That illness might even pass from one to the other. 
So there are a bunch of things planned in terms of realism. And yeah, one of the things is that the leadership of the colony also has to follow the classical rules of of government and that is only do things when you really need them and the other time you spend on useless stuff that seems like just to make it look like you're actually doing something and um, yes there was in 1.2.5 version there was something like salaries already that is true however um, like we said already a few times, Mine Colonies was completely rewritten to allow us to port Mine Colonies to future Minecraft versions since it didn't have any multiplayer support and these kinds of things. We had to rewrite it. We request some sand and some dirt. So we did have to rewrite it completely. And that also when the salary system was dropped out. However, we were also not completely satisfied with it because at least when I used to play, this system mean essentially free stuff for me. Like it was super easy to get a colony that was producing so much gold coins that I was getting like a stack of diamonds every two, three in-game days, which would destabilize like an in-game economy and one of the things we want to achieve with mine colonies is actually to have a real flourishing in-game community on a server like a lot of servers attempt it but it's usually difficult to build but we believe that with mine colonies and the requirements of citizens and special blocks etc and the monetary system we can actually build a real economy around it with markets people selling goods at different colonies etc so that's when we are going then to add bag a treasury with salaries and all these kinds of things one second ah oh. that's actually funny that you're mentioning that John because we had today in the developers chat room like a lengthy discussion about um, re for one's realism and on the other hand um, related to exactly that like having a warehouse remote or something like that so our general idea is going to be probably to make an item like the resource scroll that gives you a snapshot of the warehouse like you can if you want it to have the updated list of what's in the warehouse you have to go back to the warehouse and get a copy of what's everything in the warehouse to know what's in the warehouse right now um, we did want to like build on top of that then in the future to have like a worker that works in the warehouse maybe and you can send like a pigeon to the warehouse that flies back and forth within some established time limit and brings you the updated list for example yes exactly that applies to most in-game items however there are in-game items that are let's say difficult enough to get for them to have value like it needs a lot of time and work to get diamonds and that gives diamonds value that's basically the same thing with for anything in the real world as well like anyone could go into gold mine and spend months into it until to until you got some gold and then sell it but However, it is very difficult to get a place where there's a gold mine and get the land and all these kinds of things. And then it's expensive to extract the gold, which gives the gold the value. And the same thing applies to in-game things as well. Like we have um, diamonds that have a value that is relatively difficult to optimize. On the other hand, there are other things like villages that makes this kind of possible, which is one of the things I really dislike. Like if you ha add a village smelter to get a um, village farm to get a lot of emeralds, you can basically dupe anything really quickly, which is 
like a game mechanic I do not enjoy a lot. So we would need some ways to balance that out and have a currency that depends a little bit on these kinds of elements and on the elements of what citizens are doing. And then maybe some specific items you can only buy with that. Yeah, but it's still work like people were willing to pay for diamonds just to avoid having to spend hours strip mining at least. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make an entire GUI dedicated to see your economic development of your colony and your um, gross domestic product. <laughs> Uh, exactly, so if we have these kinds of things, we can actually have like players focus on having Okay, I want to have a fisher colony and I'm going to have a lot of fishermen And I'm going to buy cobblestone cheaply from all those other players And then I'm going to have the crusher go through the stuff and that gives me a lot of things I don't have to set up miners other people might set up in the future then quarries that's going to be a future building we're going to add. And that is going to change those kinds of things. Now, of course, there are ways to uh, allow to add via mods or world generation a lot of items and all kinds of things to the game. But we're thinking about like the average Minecraft server. Oh, yes, my you're not hearing my computer. My microphone is pretty good and I set up a bunch of things to um, remove noise levels but my computer is definitely flying off so let's see um, yeah let's check out our builders again but yes all that economic stuff is definitely a challenge to build something that works fairly reasonable. But of course, it's always up to the server owners to tweak things by adding other items, by removing items, changing configs, other mods, etc. So that's also the responsibility of the server owner. We can't do the entire job there, but we can give these servers the utilities they need to set up decent economies which is something it which is in my opinion missing a lot in 115 114 and 112 plus servers <laughs> so you see, Who know you want that little worm? <gasps> you got uh, only raw. I'm going to give you some food. Poor Amy. Completely out of food. Hi, Dave. That way, how are you doing? Um, yeah, some one thing we've also discussed a lot in the past, and which is definitely something that is on my list, and I definitely would love to have that as a feature. That is have something like economic systems where you could have let's say a communist colony that might be maybe a li little bit less efficient because people have more free time however your citizens are just tendentially much happier which gives you a few other advantages there could be a capitalist uh, colony where citizens are generally less happy because they have to work many hours but instead they are a little bit more efficient. Maybe in the long term they get more sick and these kinds of things. So there are different effects you have to take into account when building a colony. Yes, that is a pretty neat feature. Yes, we do have NPC colonies on that plan as well. That's definitely planned. But yes, all of these things need a lot of time to be coded like I myself am over five years in this project and 
a bunch of other people are three, two, etc. years in a project, so things do need time to be implemented. Especially because we are doing this in our free time, so we can't do like full-time development work on this mod, like a few people are able to. Like the creator of Techtopia has enough, way enough YouTube followers and etc. and Twitch followers and Patreons to completely live off the creation of mods. Yeah, I actually, I do not play in the lottery. I do actually do not like even, I don't even like the lottery. It's just statistically you're spending money that you could use somewhere else with a much bigger likelihood to get more of it. <laughs> yes, you would be able to raid them, but we would add guards to those as well, nasty guards to those. You wouldn't be able to do sneaky things like um, making tunnels to attack them from the bottom because the colonies would have some kind of protection system too. So it wouldn't be as easy to raid those colonies too. I'm sure to... I can think of one or two things. Probably the easiest thing is probably to snipe them from far away, but we can kind of add protection against these things too. Like, like if the arrow comes from too far away, there's no damage anymore or something like that. That's definitely something I would do in that case. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've actually never, like, there's so many styles in mine colonies I would love to play with. But I actually never had the time to do so. So that's like the Dark Oak style is one of these examples or the jungle style John made. Actually the next one I said already I want to have a Star Wars style colony or a Space Wars style colony. It's a trademark on Star Wars. Um, and I think that's going to be pretty neat. I actually love most of these buildings in that style. Yes, exactly. That, like a lot of mods make it too easy, so we would have to add certain things to reduce the impact of these things to just avoid people sniping citizens from a safe distance or using overpowered weapons and these kinds of things. We do have some restrictions like this already. Like there's a max damage you can deal to a citizen, for example. Yeah, besides all those really heavy combat-based mods that add even more overpowered stuff to the game. So, let's check in our um, university here, what has to be upgraded. Um, what do we have running at the moment? Nothing here. Um, and a civilian tree, nothing either. And it's a technology tree, two things. So we can, one more thing we can upgrade that at the moment. Um, let's see. More recipes? Oh, nah. We should probably start thinking about unlocking those. So I'm going to get some. Uh, glass and then we're going to research a glass grow already mm. I wouldn't I wouldn't like to remove um, vanilla mechanics like in general we do not like to, to alter existing vanilla mechanics because there we like to be compatible with other mods. And if you remove illagers, you kind of remove all the things people do with illagers and glasses in the other room. So I wouldn't want to do that. But adding world generation things like world generated camps or something like that sounds like something we could have planned for the future. Like generating maybe a few ships or something like that. 
or colonies. Yeah. And autonomous colonies, like, as we said. We did not get any raids anymore by illiters. That has yeah, been true. that has been a, quite a while. They aren't showing up anymore. Not sure why. Uh, maybe because maybe of the walls. Maybe because of all our torches. I think illiters shouldn't care about torches. Maybe. But I don't maybe know. Don't. I actually don't know how the illiter spawning works internally. So that's the lumberjack here for so. you. So. But yes, the last time the illiters spawned in some trees around here. But since then, we haven't seen them anymore. It's been quite a while. Oops. So let us see. That one is basically finished. It's going to start a new upgrade soon. Let's see how Chenny is doing. Oh, your your knight is wanting to speak to the mod authors. Well, it's been a while since we had a guard doing that. Um, you should probably file an issue in our GitHub uh, with the, your latest log. Then I don't think it's time for a raid. No, no, not time for a raid yet. I'm gonna put a roof over my head. Let's see what you're up to. I think that version might not have the fix for the water yet. I think it should. But since I failed with the other things as well. Let's see. Uh, some kind of an old pointer exception. But that is also I love the smell of not something that should happen though. So. To follow you. To see what you're up to actually. Is it night and they went to bed? Or is she actually sick? I think she is sick. What can I do for you? Yes, she's probably sick. So she's supposed to upgrade the hospital and she got sick doing so. That sounds like a case of corona to me, if you ask me. How is the work going? So we got potatoes and we're missing poppies and carrots. So I'm going to bring him some. What are you doing? Quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> the quarantine there. So let me get some poppies and carrots for the healer. Um, carrot. We have sixty-four. Do we have? No, it was not poppy. It was the. What is the other? What is the name of the other um, flower? Dandelion. Yes, that one. Give me fly maybe like do we have some of those? Yellow flower. <laughs> yes, the yellow flower. Yeah, thanks. Really bad with these Minecraft names. Um I requested um carrot. Did I forg I think I forgot to click request. Now it's coming. Great. And it's getting night. And not Danelian, it's Dan Dandelion. So I'm going to wait a little bit to give citizens a little bit of time to get tuck into their bed. And then we're going to sleep as well. And no pirate raid. No, no, no. <laughs> not necessary. And I need to upgrade my armor. Look at this. There's a chest with pirate armor. Somewhere around those chests here. I definitely have to get a hold of that. And a hold of one of these books. Like unbreaking for my armor. Um, protection 3 for my armor. Feather falling for my boots. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a pretty good other book. Power 4 now, Fortune 2. Let's check out a few other things. Feather Falling. Did we get Feather Falling 2 or 1? Oh, 4. That's nice. 
Um, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to get Frostwalker in my boots. Actually, it's pretty useful. Respiration and flame. Flame and efficiency and more unbreaking. I got one. So. No, no pirates. Please, no pirates. <laughs> Protection. Um, protection. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good start already, I would say. Just I need those pirate items now. We are there around. Pirate armor. We have to say R to find it. R, where's my pirate armor? Not here. So I know it's somewhere. So that's at least, unless all the guards are he holding the pirate armor. Somehow. I think, can you repair pirate armor? Did we add something for that? No, you have to use mending. Ah, so you have to use mending. Let me find mending box books in the meantime too. You can also uh, disenchant our um, fishing rods and such. Ah, I can get from a fishing rod the... Mending enchant. How do I do that? You need a book of disenchantment, I think. And then right click a grave with the item. It's the book of disenchantment. Okay, that's a grave dust, a lamp is a normal book. Okay, so I'm going to put those normal books over here away, because I'm going to need those. I still need a pirate hat and maybe some, so we got one mending already, two mending, three mending, and the fourth mending thing. Here, next mending, there we go. And books I got, lapis I found, and I need grave dust for the Should 16. Be to... Grave dust. Maybe in our warehouse. Yeah, we got a bunch in the warehouse. I just requested it. Now I get to go to bed before too many things. Yes, the armor is probably upstairs, that's true. I'm going to bed. Let me get some water. So back to the warehouse. Let me get the pirate armor upstairs. Hopefully, a delivery man is going to pick up my requests in the meantime. Up here. I believe I got there. That was. Okay. I'm a new pirate chest. So I'm going to trade that one. Um, I need leggings and a hat as well. But I can make just a diamond hat. I'm not a big fan of the pirate hats. Okay, so I grab the... Do I have everything here now? No, I'm still do waiting. Do you think uh, pirate captains should have random enchantments uh, on their armor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. You sure? Maybe it's cool. I'm entirely sure. Absolutely. Uh, on the sword? Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm going to request a pirate. Okay, we don't have pirate leggings anymore. In the warehouse, seemingly. Yeah, they're all... Gun. So... Okay, we, I got two of the poppies and some of the carrots. So I'm going to bring those to the healer already. Up, leap of faith. Only for requesting. The post box is only for requests. Um, I'll take here you go. Care of it. 
take some of this. That should be enough to get our Chenny back to work. What's it today then? So Chenny seems to be having some more serious illness then. Yes, the stash is actually for the requesting of the other things. So we she might she might have actually the illness that requires the honeycomb. I'm afraid. Oh no. Um, grave dust. So it is corona. I knew it. Oh, there's no. But she is not in the hospital. Okay. We need to get some more grave dust inside our base as well. Now she's sleeping at home because the hospital doesn't have enough beds. Oh, she's healing now. Is she healing now? Ah, okay, great. Yeah. I wasn't able to hear it from down there, so I thought she wasn't actually healing. Since you're saying that. Glad Can she's on the way to recovery, I would down. say. Okay. Running back to get our stuff together to make those books of disenchantment. Although that is not a vanilla feature, am I right? No, it's uh, from our quest on mod. It's corals. Yeah. It will probably take some time because you need those uh, souls at the grave, which spawn uh, every like 30 minutes or so. Oh, what? And we only have. You need to right click the book on a soul on a grave. This blue thingy here is a soul. I, I need an enchanted item in my offhand, okay? Yeah. And I. Click this. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. And now you have to wait a uh, new soul shows up. Oh, great, because I got unbreaking and not mending from that rod. <laughs> yeah, that can have mends when you. <laughs> oh, amazing. And I now have to wait Ma and get more books. That sounds great. Maybe we should make some more graves. <laughs> and I thought that's what's going to be something quick and easy. Yeah, oh, I guess it's, it's never easy. From our first builder. So, no, that is Ash's grave. Yeah, he was our first builder and died. <laughs> so, um, let's check if we get some more grave dust lying around here. Now there's a little bit in the warehouse, but not a lot. But since there's like no guarantee to get the right enchantment off. We need more grave dust. And I was always throwing this stuff away because it seemed useless. Useless, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. So. Oh, I can kill some Eden simply and get his soul. That's what you're saying. <laughs> What? People are people on stream are requesting for you to get killed. It's not me, it's them. You don't have really nice people on your stream, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I sent some pirates to them. They're asking for pirates and they're asking for me to kill some addons. Um okay. I need, let me get the other stuff here. <laughs> John is saying, we need blood, we want blood. And Captain Salt is waiting for a raid. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to see me suffer. Just like, ah, mm -hmm. I am a citizen. <laughs> we could uh, increase our config for raids. Nah, not necessary. No? Nah, nah. Could then uh, end every day with that. So we need protection three and unbreaking three. Where was it here? Uh, no, that was not. I have to put this on one of these things there. Yes. So this. 
protection 3 and unbreaking 3 okay great that's unbreaking 3 ah I have to run back now you I don't care how often you are going to sh shout for a raid. Not going to happen on my watch. <laughs> uh, two minutes later. No, I'm not going to use Curse of Binding either because I know that is not a good one. Protection 3. Usually people give me helpful advice, you know? Not going to try to mislead me on purpose. That's mean. We have a mending book there already. Frostwalker, Feather. They're not coming. I can't hear any pirate ship coming. Can I request like a mending book here? No. So I have to look through the chests. There's like a mending book. Uh, Frostwalker, more Frostwalker. Shadow Step, okay. No. I, I like to have options. <laughs> I do like to have options to take things off. You put mending and curse of binding, and you're like forever tied to the uh, to the item hi Shirley how have you been doing how is the beekeeper worker going on oh that's nice send us some screenshots when you when you got the economy running no sound so all around here nope okay um I'm going to I think as far as I understood, what is happening is that it's going to get the first enchantment of the list, actually, probably. And in this case, it's mending. And in this case, it's mending. And in those, and in that last case, it's definitely mending. Um, in those, definitely. But in this one here, not. So I'm going to trade that for an other one that has mending only. Perfect. So those have a guarantee to get mending then. <sighs> it's much better than trying out so often. So yeah. So since you said what you're doing, um, you have actually the author of that jungle style here live in chat. It's uh, Keda Mono who actually created the jungle style you're, you're checking out. Do I, although I do think it's probably easier to grow the trees than take an actual jungle forest for that. What you were up to? Fishing. Yeah, I got some mending. Oh. <laughs> Where is he? Now, oh damn! <laughs> Southwest. Just now we're going to get the raiders. Southwest. Ah, raid. Well, thanks a lot, Shirley. Oh gee, I just had to tell you that somewhat I messed up, and this version does not have your rallying banner. So I will have to revise this tomorrow and get that version uploaded. I don't know how that slipped through. But it did. Oh, that's barbarians actually. They spawned close enough to the river. Yes. Oh, nice, we got a diamond sword. Not sure that was a wise, wise decision to jump here. We're going to see. Don't worry, I'm coming. 
Are you incoming with the guards? Yes. Some aliens is coming with the guards. I'm not going to die this time. Let's see how our guards are doing actually. I actually do think that probably one of the things that causes our guards to die is eating, to be honest. Like I saw several of the guards eating during this attack. Yeah, they are eating mid fight. So eating mid fight while they're still under attack is not a wise decision. So there, yeah, a bunch of our guards seem to be dying. Especially the chief seems to be relatively nasty. How many, how many did we lose? One, two, three, three. That's not so bad. Yeah, the chief sword has the special ability to send um, barbarians flying. It's the special ability of the chief sword, basically. It's it's uh, not working against our barbarians, so. It is. It worked fine. I was sending mm, a bunch yeah, of them flying. Yeah, but it does no damage because we disabled that on hard. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it doesn't do damage, but it helps a but lot they are because flying. yes, because they are flying and not attacking you in the meanwhile. Yeah, that's true. Hi, Iris Jeff. You just missed everything. Everything. Yeah, it's a very big fight. An enormous fight. It seemed the biggest war you've ever seen. <laughs> Until the next war. It's going to be bigger. Yes, and it lets barbarians glow when you hold it in the hand as well. It has some neat abilities. It was a pretty big uh, raid, yes. With a bunch of guards. That I have to say, that's true. Are you... Ah, are there a bunch more barbarians there? Yeah, sweet. Can see our knights there, bloodthirsty, going after the remaining barbarians. But that should not be a problem anymore. Oh, <laughs> well, I was just kidding, Iris Chef. And I did not miss a lot. You're going to be fine. So... Yes, in in normal mode, it's very overpowered. Just got the new children, three of them. Just the amount of citizens that died. We still don't have a soul at the grave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's 30 minutes of your time. And we are one hour on. Yeah, okay. We are one hour streaming right now. We were just attacked by some barbarians. Only lost around three guards. That's, I think, a reasonable death count. Can't complain too much about that. Got a nice diamond sword drop from the chief. Let me just get one of these knights. A di that diamond sword. There's so many of them, it's difficult to click one of them. I did teleport it after some add-ons again. <laughs> Sorry. Makes it even more difficult to right-click them. So. Okay. Those are archers. Those are knights. Come, let me right-click you. Got it, finally. Here. Here, you go. You got a diamond sword now. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Let us check here quickly. Uh-huh. 
all the kids <laughs> now here at our colony. Did I request anything here? Oh, my leggings now have basically no durability left. And I don't have any mending book yet. So I should probably unequip it meanwhile. Until I am able to do them some mining to heal it, the armor. Oh, that's, that sucks. After five years, oh, that was a great builder. Similarly as Barnaby. But I'm sure it was probably no Alexandra. But it was a Barnaby and that's pretty sad already. <laughs> so, let's see what our Chenny is doing. Almost finishing hospital finally after her relatively long illness She finally recovered and is helping Oh poor Penapoli Pen Penelope Penapoli Penelope That definitely sounds already like a great builder That's a strong builder name <laughs> Do I have now can I do this thingy now with the grave here this how long do these souls need too long too long i demand souls where's some addons <laughs> not here Ow. <laughs> so did i get this where where is the soul Maybe you need to use my grave. No? Maybe your stream was just tricking you to shoot me. <laughs> where is my soul? People, where is the soul I was supposed to get? I want my soul. I didn't know souls if I kill a player, you just wanted me to kill some addons just for fun. I think that counts, but... <laughs> me chat. Maybe, maybe some addons is um, actually secretly the devil, and that's why he doesn't have a soul. That is also possible. <laughs> I've always I suspected that chat. it. I, I'm going to be very I always <laughs> suspected it. I always suspected it. Today, some add-ons had the great idea, and I firmly believe all of you people are going to agree with him, that why shouldn't we have barbarians, instead of mining through the walls, just use TNT to break through places, right? TNT-like explosions would be so much nicer. I'm sure that everyone would absolutely love this update. See, Margot it's only has effect. has one thing to say, and that's no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just no. Ex exactly, Margot. That I was the, yes. that was the reaction I had. It was like just nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. Um. I think, I think if we go as I said as well, if we have like all the system better balanced and are noticing that the raiders are barely any threat anymore and uh, walls hold them up too firmly and these kinds of things, maybe we could have some way for them to do it. However, I would like strongly restrict it to maybe like. Um, two uses per raid or something like that to avoid yeah, I think I, I'd make it and only uh, in hard special, mode special kind of raid also it spawns it doesn't Carls Carlsoner you I think you're probably together with some addons in this devil team <laughs> because some addons sent me the video from the two towers <laughs> explosion 
Yeah, it was the idea. <laughs> that was exactly his his inspiration in this case as well. I think you two, I'm not going to trust you. If you two are like one day to me like, hey Ray, didn't you want to be more successful? I have a little contract here for you. Just cause you're the soul. I would not be surprised. But yes, like um, John is saying as well, it would, and I would also end up filling up my walls with waters, with water, which would probably make it even more difficult for guards to break it through, even more difficult than now. Mm -hmm. I want souls. Where are my souls? Oh, we can make some uh, ghost pirates who just can float through. Any blocks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why don't we make... Oh, um, I, like. I actually thought about that. Like making a... Um, for the Asian style, a ninja type mob. And since they're ninjas, they can go up walls. Oh, that's nice too. I would make them probably like high damage and... Mm -hmm low health so yeah, it could be uh, a funny type of raid maybe yeah only be hit yeah failed parkour <laughs> so that's so that's so like a good uh, thing i'm i'm the master of failed parkour i'm decent in parkour but i fail it nine of ten cases yes exactly Ooh. those ninjas would climb like spiders that was the idea behind i had did you hire all the new citizens as guards yes of course we need the miner do you need my no one needs a miner oh miners only suicide in lava all the time all day long <laughs> Yeah, the miner dies fairly often yes, that I have to agree with, yeah. but we need a miner. It's only going to make our coin not work for a day. And maybe we c I, I don't know which biome we could have like a ninja's attack. Maybe like birch forest? Because it would only fit in the cherry forest of, of biomes of plenty, but that would be a bit too restrictive. So I thought if you have an Asian style colony, or maybe only an Asian style building, you could get that raid already. A bamboo forest, that's true. That would work. But it's also a very special biome. It's a bit too rare to to make it. Like there are a lot of desert biomes, a lot of taiga biomes and these kinds of things. But bamboo forest is on one hand an extremely rare biome. No, I don't want to mine. That's why I want a miner. <laughs> I'm too lazy to mine. Guard tower 5. Nice. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. I'm adding a second request to a post box and it res resets. Okay. Do you have the item of that request already? No. Oh, that's weird. I made a new request now and oh, it uh, gave a task to the crafter. That's weird. I'm pretty sure it was a uh, size reset. Oak bookshelf. <laughs> I just made the bookshelf recipe the other way around. <laughs> so a new book. <laughs> that, was, but that would be too much, too much of books for that. Does. Okay. How many do we need actually? Um, twelve. So I need a few more. I got. What happened to my shocker box again? <laughs> you lost it again. I lost it again. Another emote. 
Where is my shulker box? Uh, a shulker box icon with a uh, question mark on top. <laughs> Perfectly perfect more. So, yeesh. did I leave it? I think there's a good chance I left it in the warehouse. Nope. I'm suspecting that some Eden stole my shaker box. No, so, I didn't. No, you didn't. Oh. <laughs> A minor rip emote that would be very fitting too. No, I don't want fish. I want <laughs> this here. Shaker box. Here. Eat dirt. <laughs> A fish is actually delicious. Dirt isn't. This is baked fish. <laughs> it's even cooked salmon. That's even good thing. Where's my shulker box? What happened? It disappeared into the void. I placed it in the builder hut. That I remember. I still suspect some Adams has it, and he's just hiding it. <laughs> Some evidence. Where is my shaker box? Tell me. It's gone. I built faster than I know than you any have man. it. I know you have it. <laughs> I so. saw it when you shot me, because you placed it next to my grave. Oh, oh, I found it. I placed it in the base. <laughs> So I'd, I just had okay. the wrong shulker box with me. Sorry, I was suspecting you, some items. Okay. But you're just too evil today. You're just too evil today. <laughs> I want just want some ghost raiders and TNT barbarians. It's not evil. That's that's all. It's normal. That's all normal. <laughs> totally normal. Um, I need more oak, but I have at least here. Yes, some more oak planks. Uh -huh. So, what do you mean? Do I say so, so <laughs> often? <Yeah. laughs> have you never heard of filler words? <laughs> Those, I love filler words. How do you think you write a 120 page master thesis? 119 pages, I don't know. You put a lot of so's in it. No, a so is actually bad. You put things like nevertheless. In the fullness of time. Acacia stairs. Let's give some Acacia stuff to him too. We might quartz. I might quartz stair in our. Did I mess it up? Let me check that out. Yeah, my bachelor thesis was a hundred pages, and my master thesis was a hundred and twenty pages. That was a lot of work. Okay, that's fixed. And yeah, I hope I'm going to be able to hold my PhD thesis under 150. Just because it's a major pain to write so much and then correct it and read all over again. So let me check if we have a soul finally. I'm waiting for that for long. No? Nope. Who said earlier it needs like an half an hour or something like that to recharge? I did. <laughs> you did? 
How long yeah. was this ago? 40 mm. minutes? 20 minutes? No, it was no, it was before the raid and the raid was around 20 minutes ago. Well, maybe it needs a full hour. Um Oh, that is actually a good question. How do we prevent the lumberjack from cutting down buildings that have that are on the trees? Oh, that's going to be the miner, Alice. A Alice in Wonderland goes down the rabbit hole. <laughs> that fits. Here you go, Alice. You're the no mi new miner. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let's check how um, builders are doing again. Oop. Um, fifty. If you don't want a lumberjack to cut tr down a tree, you can place um cobblestone below the tree. Uh, yeah, so you can place. Yeah, true. You can do th two things actually, even. You can place cobblestone under the tree. And the second thing you can do is um, have the lumberjack um, only cut the, down trees within a certain area. Like there's this area tool in the lumberjack. You can just select in which area you want the lumberjack to cut down trees that should work fairly fine for that you said that what not alice i hired here <coughs> oh you're right that is michael yeah, michael is a terrible uh minor even alice has stamina t 10 in strength 11 plus she is pretty smart yes and M michael is not so Michael would just die in fire again. Okay. So I think Michael is a great guard. <laughs> Let's uh, he's a good guy for like the front row of the next pirate attack. Did you hear the sound? Yes. Weird. What are you doing, Sam Adams? Not me. I just hear the I was like what? Are we getting like a sandstorm or something like this? Yay, we got a soul! Oh, maybe they... that was uh, Sanda. That's possible. And we got Mending. Great. Okay. And then the easiest thing is just to assign the lumberjack to mine things um, only within the the area you give him. That would be Probably the easiest solution to take care of that. So it was like what roughly. So next video we're going to have the next mending enchantment that needed a while. And I'm way too lazy to make a new grave. Here. Now on those boots we put mending. And that broke our anvil. Useful blocks. More uh, anvils. We don't have any iron, I think. We got a bunch of anvils. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I have around 47 iron with me. Protection and unbreaking. Mending and unbreaking. And mending and... And we got curse of binding on it. What a pain. Too late. Um, so, uh -huh. I think it's getting fairly late. We're one hour and 24 minutes already in this episode. Let's take a minute to enjoy our, another minute, a few seconds to enjoy the great view of our amazing and growing colony here 
you can see the new hospital with the upgraded red sound sound around it our school down here upgraded very neatly too and minecraft is also tuning in with a fairly nice sound to finish this episode before the next raid wipes all of us out um, and i'm going to say i'm going to see you guys tomorrow ciao ciao